Here we go! Holy right into it. I've already lost everybody. Oh. oh, not bad at all. Hey, Don, are you warmed up yet? Well, my body is warm. <laughs> my skills, not so much. <laughs> I'm on John's Mill, which is rideable. And as soon as you connect to 6.30, it's totally blow down old fire zone. It's only like a quarter mile is rideable. I pull in and hop off my bike and the damn thing's right there. The damn cougar starts to circle where I'm standing. So it's been crouched in front of me for what seems like an eternity. And finally it stands up and starts going around me. And I'm, you know, I'm just going. No way. <laughs> Wait, so how did it end? Well, it got 90 degrees around me, crouched down again, started hissing at me and growling. And I just raised my voice even louder and just was like, this can't happen. You know, I'm just, I don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of just stood up, looked at me and just walked off. Did that change anything for you? Do you bring <laughs> anything on rides or do anything different now? Uh, no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> The weather today is crazy. It started off freezing, now it's in the 50s. I think it's gonna get cold again. All over the place. Can't peg this one down. What do we wear? What do we do? Oh, yeah. oh boy. Yeah. Oh my god. Devin, what do you call this? The path of broken dreams? And brilliant move. I wouldn't have thought of throwing rocks to build a little footbridge. I would have thrown rocks if I was a little kid. Mung beans, spinach, cheese, avocado, wrapped in a flour tortilla. Calories, a boot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. As I stand here alone in the wilderness, I contemplate my decision to bring an extra pair of gloves. And I think that I may have made the right decision. Yes. We gotta do this again? While you weren't here, I put all those rocks in there. What a player. Every single one of them. The most helpful man alive. Wow. Little on the fly micro adjustment. Just gotta make sure this guy. Yeah, that was a loose one right there. Okay. Next time you need road tide maintenance, call Decline Bicycle Services. We'll supply the, st I don't know what I'm, okay. Hey Suko. Yo. Hey, tell me about the upgrades you just did to your rig. Yeah, these new wheels. Ride Hi Fi. Sessions 650B, 30 mil wide. Dynamo in front. Bushin Miola IQXS up front. Got their little secular tail light. Works good. Oh, it is so hard to see what I'm trying to do. Premium snack stop. I decided to load up on. This might be a deep fried bean and cheese burrito. It got me because it was deep fried. Green tea and some homemade chocolate chip cookies. How can you go wrong? Hey Devin, why is all the salt iodized? Because uh, if you're if you flat and your sealant is coming out of your tubeless, you put it on there and it, and it congeals, but it won't work without the iod iodization. Not gonna dry. Velcro and then... Eat up. Uh, oh, Dawn is back in town! Oh, God. I had too many cookies. I'm never gonna learn that lesson, am I? I'll just keep trying. Hello. 
Ron brings up a good point. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, now might be exactly the right time. Yeah, subscribe it. <laughs> Little known fact about Suko Warrior, he followed the Grateful Dead to find his way to Portland, Oregon. Summer tour 94, baby. Woo! I know. <laughs> I think it's about that time. Trick or treat fuel. I swear to God, these dumb things have gotten smaller and smaller. What's up with that? Why are they so small? My chocolatey balls aren't balls oh my anymore. God, one big, what is that? It's a chocolatey turd now. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Suko just said that stopping at the market and taking his shoes off and letting him air out really helped his feet. Who knew? This episode is brought to you by Suko's Dry Feet. Suko's Dry Feet, the closest thing to a calm night's sleep. Iodine deficiency is a lack of the trace element iodine, an essential nutrient in the diet. It may result in metabolic problems such as goiter, sometimes an endemic goiter, as well as cretinism due to untreated congenital hypothyroidism, which results in the blah, 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 blah. That's the good stuff. The pocket pizza! Hey, don't forget, tune in on Tuesday. I'm gonna do an outfit breakdown. What kind of gear is good for graveling? I'll answer this and more on an upcoming Tuesday episode. Keep your eyes peeled. I think it'll be next Tuesday. In the words of Devin Bailey, what a great fucking day. <laughs> Pro move right here. My reason to ride. Chocolate Moo Moo. Oh my God. Player. Yeah. Everybody's. Thank you. Everybody's. Everybody loves beer. Everybody country boy. Country boy. <laughs> Clink. Epic day in the saddle with these knuckleheads. And the ride by the numbers. Four hours, 35 minutes. Rolling time. 50 miles. 4,681 feet of elevation. Look at this guy. <laughs> Goodbye. Be careful out there, Neymarino. Ah! Epic day, solid crew. What an interesting route. We started at the top of the mountain, went down to the bottom, and went right back to the top. Beautiful little out and back to make the day a-okay. I yeah, hope you guys like this ride experience. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Love it, hate it, any suggestions? Always keen to know. And I've been going live on Fridays. I call it Friday Live. I do them uh, every once and again. So if you wanna get the update, maybe join the newsletter and I'll send out an email a few days before because it's a good time. We hang out, talk bikes, chat it up, live and uncut. Secrets revealed. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, now just might be that time. Other than that, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Dustin Klein, signing off. Until next time, dear friend, auf Wiedersehen. Pizza!